So we've tied map, enclosure map, earliest ordnance survey map, which, which tends is... to be about 1820, the, the smaller yeah, scale yeah, ones. Yeah, but and 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 that's when you say smaller scale, you mean where the features are, are the biggest in a sense, do you? I mean what. When you large area, less detail, smaller right, scale. Right. Okay. Yes. Uh, the okay. Sort of thing like a yeah. one-inch map. Yeah. Um, from yes, the 1820s, you get those. One inch is often the way it's referred to, isn't That's it? Right, the 1820s, yeah. one inch. The first I've edition. Heard me. By the time you get to about 1860, the Ordnance Survey are producing, in fact, this type of map, which is a large-scale map which shows a smaller area but a lot more detail. And you get these off the web now. You can get these off the web. Yeah, landmark. The, the landmark. This is uh, this one. Yeah. And, and you can, and for your area. Area, you can get an 1884 this one published 84 you can get that off the web yeah you can indeed I mean, the, the, yeah. the, put, the dates vary depending on whether we're mapping but this is the first accurate map that shows all the buildings all the paths all the field boundaries and so on and you can actually take measurements from these because they're accurate and the one underneath that you've got that looks really old interesting <laughs> is that the Argo yeah it's so a Ralph Agas um, a gas map. Yes, um, not Argo. <laughs> it's, a, it's a different thing in Argo. So, uh, Ralph Agas, that's 1500. Is that really quite early for a map? It is. Um, once you get into the 16th century, yes. map making is now becoming more common. At the early part of the 1500s, it's less common. There's not many maps that period, though one or two late, um, late 15th century maps. But by the 16th century, people are using maps to show what they own, where things are. And that's are. why a rich chap like Sir Ralph Agas, whatever his name is, actually had that creep. What's the purpose of this to him? To, this, is, this is what he owns, is it? They, they tend to be, yeah, they tend to be ownership maps. I mean, it's the first time, really, a map, maps are used to say, hey, look, this is what I've got, this is my land. And a bit all, like Doomsday, in a sense. It is, yeah. The, yeah. the big landowners want to... They a want to know what they've got. You know, this is a Renaissance period we're talking about. This yeah. sudden um, comprehension that people have land and ownership of landscape, even. Yes. And so it goes from you being very wealthy and just wanting a map to see how, how rich and powerful you are, yes. um, and how much land you've got, to actually people starting to want to think about, well, how can we, what can we do on this land? And the how interesting, can we measure the, it? and the interesting thing about this map, which which I'll just hold up, yeah. see if you can see it, is that. Um, this shows how much of this been lost because the coastline now, Stuart, is what virtually back Whoa. here. I mean, if I put my, in fact, if I put a piece of paper over, it's gone from that, from mid 16th century, yeah, to that, to that. That's all that's left. And there, on yeah. there is, I don't know if you can see it, it. It's a bit tiny, but it is. There's that curved bit of road. Stuart mm. was talking about that pattern you look for. And that's there on the 15th. What's, what's, when you've been doing your landscape research and mapping, what's been the most sort of exciting map you've found from an early period that sort of has clinched a particular pattern in the landscape for you? Whoa, that's a question and a half, that one. Yeah, we're good at that. Um, actually, on one of the Time Team programmes we did years ago at Castle Howard, there was a map there which was made by, I think it was... Hawksmoor, the architect, mm -hmm. which actually just shows the point at which the old castle was still there but being demolished. Because there was a, a medieval village at Castle Howe before that big grand uh, Vambra house was placed there. Yes. And the map was made just at the point when the streets of the village were still there but the houses had gone. The old castle was still there but was probably by then just a builder's yard effectively. Just before it was all swept away by the building of the Vambra house. And that map allowed us to work out where the, um, the churchyard was, where the main streets of the, the village was. And that map really was that, that, it's a kind of point in time thing with a map. A map's made at a point in time for a purpose. And I think when you find a map that says, at that point, at that year, this is what was going on. I think that's the sort of thing I find gives me that kind of buzz when you find something. I mean, there's hundreds of examples where you find... Well, we've only got time useful. for the one. Have you? Oh, I could go right. on forever on now what, now what we're <laughs> Now, what we're, at, we're at this interesting stage now where Stuart, having done his map analysis and saw that curved road, 
we think the hospital is on there yeah and what we're now doing which i always enjoy do, enjoy doing is digging a hole in one of stuart's theories <laughs> uh, 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 an excavational hole and and what would be a great result for you would be if we could find that maison Dieu hospital mm. in relation to that curved road which you think it's likely it was on yeah i mean any medieval concentration of medieval fabric medieval surfaces will confirm there was medieval activity on that corner with the map evidence we've got um, it will point towards that being the, the hospital I mean, if we find walls we can get shape and size that would that'd be absolutely brilliant but we're kind of restricted I suspect in what survives here just by the sheer destruction and, and, and having worked in a few other countries around the world which you've done and I, I've worked in a few I always feel that we're incredibly lucky in Britain to have the OS maps yeah, yeah. I mean I, I've been in some countries where it's really quite difficult to sort maps out and Britain seems to have from a very early stage got the idea that a map is quite a nice useful mm. thing and that gives that's grist to your mill really well, isn't it, it is yeah i mean major major general roy was the founder of the ordnance survey right. and what's really satisfying about this is going back to the 18th century to jacobite rebellions and uh, he recognized the need for maps if you're going to fight the scots you need to know where they are and how to move your troops about and from his initiative and, and patronage of george iii uh, and the um, uh, various other people at the time he promoted the making of an ordnance survey map, you know, the ordnance, the, yeah. the army connection. Yeah. Um, but the nice thing about Major General Roy was he was an antiquarian. Right. So he's making these maps to pacify the Scots and all the rest of it, but wherever he went, if he found a Roman camp, he drew it on. And so he's What date was that, Stuart? This is a mid-1800s, mid, mid, mid 1745, right. that sort of period. Mm -hmm. And so some of, his early, some of the earliest maps ever made are actually made by somebody who does what I do now, a map maker with a, you know, a massive interest in, in what the archaeology was. Stuart's day job really is, is as a, a surveyor uh, and, a, and, a, and a kind of for English heritage to go out there and map the monuments, is that? Would that yeah, be and the, the correct title, um, surveyor implies measuring, I think it always does, whereas right. what I do is, is, is analysis. Of, of information it's like a police detective you've got all these clues right um it's piecing the clues together right so the maps you've got the ground the aerial photos excavation it's sort of map maker meets cracker yeah that's what i like that. i think he yeah. likes the idea he likes that <laughs> all right Stuart. well thank you very much indeed that's and okay. uh let's hope we find the hospital oh we will we will you little faith <laughs>